Alright, we're here for the unboxing of the just released Wii U Deluxe Set. Let me turn the box around. I have a nice big U with the Deluxe Set on the bottom. And right here, as you can see, it shows you all the content within the box. Now, as a major side note, you want to open the box with the U facing you because if you don't, all the contents will actually fall out upside down, which is a big no no if you want to keep and preserve your console. Let's move this out the way. And this is actually on the first shelf. There's two shelves within the box, and I obviously unboxed um, everything, so it'd be nice and quick. And going from the left to the right, right here is the Wii U console's power source. This is what's going to be powering the Wii U. And to the right of that is the Wii U controller's dedicated power source. Now you can either plug it in directly to the controller or to the charging cradle, which we're going to show you soon enough. And to the right of that is the HDMI cable, a first standard for any gaming console, and it comes with every Wii U, whether it be the basic or the deluxe. And to the right of that, we have a user manual, and if you have a Club Nintendo account, you can redeem some coins so that you can get some nice prizes from Nintendo. And to the right of that, we have Nintendo Land, which comes standard with every deluxe set. Now, if you have a basic set, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to go and pick it out for yourself. But for those who buy into deluxe, standard. Now underneath that, we have two cradles. To the left, we have just a stand. And to the right, we have the charging cradle. Now they both can be used in, in the same way. The only difference is that the charging cradle actually charges the Wii U. And the main reason you would even want to use the regular stand is if the game provides some type of use for the controller outside of regular interactivity, such as a map. Now underneath all of that, we have the actual stand for the Wii U. It's not like the regular Wii, which actually had a, a slate, so you can slide the Wii U into. It just has these two crate holders, holders, and you just slide the Wii U straight in. And underneath that, finally, is just the sensor bar. It allows you to use the regular Wii controller with it, and it's pretty much the exact same Wii sensor bar that you got with the Wii regular Wii. Uh, yeah, so nothing special there. Now, for what we're really interested in, the unboxing of the actual console and controller itself. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you want to have the U facing you when you're unboxing, as I'm about to demonstrate when I'm unboxing the actual console itself. And there it is. The console and controller, side by side. So let's start with the controller. Here it is. Nice wrap. And there it is. Very stately, isn't it? It's everything that you're used to and more. Alright, now that the controller's been dealt with, let's get to what's the actual powerhouse, the console. And there it is, the Wii U console. Very nice glossy finish. So it is a fingerprint magnet for you, those who are interested. The actual front has the Wii U logo on the right side. It has a front loading tray. It has two SUB ports on the front with an SD card slot. It has a sync button on the outside, which is great when you're trying to sync other material, such as another controller. Two fans on the back side. And on the rear, two more USB ports on the rear, right side, the HDMI port for those who do not have HDMI ports on their TVs, an AV outlet, center bar outlet, power outlet, another fan. And that's just the top of the console. And this is what the console would look like with the vertical stands. 
And that's it. The actual console and controller side by side. This is Nintendo's next offering. Will it be just as revolutionary as the Wii was in gaming? Or is it just going to be another item collecting dust in our ever-growing collection of electronics? Only time will tell if Nintendo has what it takes to make a new revolution in our lives.